Outside, it's a freezing Arctic wasteland, but inside, it's loud, hot, and rowdy. Welcome to the Thunderdome. We're broadcasting live from Cineropolis, Forsken, Minnesota. The fans are wearing parkas and shorts, ready for the carnage to begin. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Midway Mutants battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> if you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Wow, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, man. The offense called a murder ball. Danger. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. I'll shoot you in the head. The people like it. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Great play by the defense results in an interception. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He broke free and has open. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Caught for the first down. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's oh, with a brutal hit. Second down and six. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Just left 
left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a... And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Is going to be explosive this week. He meant it literally. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Three. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made in the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well. And it's first and ten. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and five. And that'll bring up third down and seven. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. He is automatic! Nice kick! Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> the kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. Coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And just like that, the first ref is done. I think I won the pool on that. I had him in my first box. It, well, someone's got to be first. It's got to be first or something at least once in life, even if it's dying. First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback.
Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Whoa, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, nice hit! It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckle. Ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and eight. Hot one. Nine. This guy's a brick shit house. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. He could go all the way. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Wow! It's like a bloodmobile crash! 
Johnson into a slaughterhouse. And the offense retains possession. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And he runs it in for the touchdown. Hey, you see that little baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm a Raiders. Raiders, I tell you. <laughs> They're going for two points. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, man. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. Man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, I love this dirty trick. G5 fall bump. And that's another turnover for the defense. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. I know how to said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First and two. Once again, that's just a great run for a touchdown. I'll just assume that to orcs, this is arousing somehow. Assume all you want and don't make it true. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. First down and forever. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. 
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have... Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. First down and six. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. What is this, 80s wrestling? The kicker died on that play. Hey, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. I don't remember calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. Second down and 10. Hot, hot one, hot two. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and 10. to the races. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Freud rage! How do you like your brain? Scrambled or fried? On Freud rage breakfast, but and that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Ah, uh, they love to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Second down and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Two minutes remain in the half. Right. I gotta take a dump. Third down and nine. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. First and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. If there were any, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, 
Hot two. Hot. 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 And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, ma'am. They ought to activate landmines in the end zone during the dance celebrations. <laughs> Be a lot more entertaining, that's for sure. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He's at the 20, the 10, and the defense is on his heels. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, what a brutal hit! The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Nicely done for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. Uh, that's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. 
Now this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh yeah, after the Mayhem Ball, then Club 16 under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bone there on me when I got home. Big trouble! The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Eh, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! And, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Yeah. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Here comes the defense. <laughs> He's at the 40. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. You know, you got to put the buzzsaw in the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Briggs. You're an idiot. Punched his way out of that, and he finds open. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Yeah, that's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 Play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. needs a miracle. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that... Uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this league have a life. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, wait, the 
quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. And that'll bring up third and one. One. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Second down and and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot. Checking off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I will be the one to tell him. He broke free and has open field in front of him. First down and six. Playing some D. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Moose right now. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The 20. He's at the 10. And the defense is on his heels. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 20, the 10, and that is caught for a first down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for, and that's why we love the MFL.
First and two. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And it's first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt. But he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, oh, oh. that gets me every time. Like a jack. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers, they're really getting the snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Third down in forever. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. They are going for it. And the defense is licking their mutant lips. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. It helps. Believe me, man. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that'll 
that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down this guy to the speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team. He's clear. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. The offense is down to their final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How's he going to be able to block all those defenders by himself, Grim? can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And then, my friend, is the dance with someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. <laughs> the offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. And the Purple Mutant Eaters are annihilated at home today. Looks like someone put the Mutant Eaters on a diet. Get it? Die? Diet? Because they're dead. Probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...